Hi, welcome to this Master Templates demo from IES. The Master Templates tool can be used to rapidly assign data from a source model to a target model. Firstly, we provide a Master Templates user guide for free on our website. It can be downloaded from there and the guide will tell you exactly what the Master Templates tool is and what applications it can be used for within the virtual environment. In this demo, I'm going to show you how a master template tool can be used for a new project. For example, if you create a master template from an existing project and use that template then on a new project. So I'm going to demonstrate the master template tool using two VE models. One will be referred to as the source model. This is a two story building located in Glasgow. I'm going to show you how the master templates can then be applied to a target model, which is a simple three story building located in London. So where is the master template tool located? The master templates tool can be found in tools in the toolbar and then click master templates and you can see that you have a number of options. So in order to export a master template, you need to click on master template export. The software will export a .tpl file. You should save this to a known location for future use. And once that template is exported, you can reuse it then on the target model. So what exactly did this master template extract from the source model? So we can see looking at the source model here that we have uh, firstly, we have a number of thermal templates created which have room conditions, internal gains and air exchanges assigned to the thermal templates. This particular source model also had a number of constructions that were created in the construction database manager. And these were part L 2013 constructions for external walls, ground floors, roofs, glazing, etc. So I'm now going to show you the import data option in the target model. You can see that this target model is completely blank. There's no thermal templates created except for the default template, which is has no internal gains or exchanges. You will see in the construction database manager that there's very few constructions already in the model. Now in order to import data or to use the master templates template, I need to click on tools, master templates, and then master template wizard. So we have a number of import options then for master templates. We've import data, import and assign data and import data advanced. We can see now that these options are grayed out and that's because I haven't selected the master template file, .tpl file. So I'm gonna click on the .tpl file I saved earlier. And now we can see that this, the various different options have become highlighted so I'm going to show you now how to import data from a master template file. See that this option will import all the template model data of the desired types to your model. Imported data will not be assigned to the rooms. And you have a number of extra import options that become available. I'm going to select the templates that I want to import into my target model. I'm going to pick thermal conditions template and construction templates. I'm also going to select the type of data I want to import. I'm going to pick internal gains, constructions, Apache profiles, air exchanges. So once I do that, I will see a summary of the changes that are going to be made to the target model. I'm going to see various different data types that are going to be imported to the model. 
And just remember this option is importing the data only and won't make any assignments. So that's just finished now. And now if I click on my building template manager, I will see a number of new terminal templates that have been imported into the target model. If I click on my construction database manager, I will see new constructions that have been imported into the target model. We've just seen how the master templates tool can be used to import data to a target model. So I'm now going to show you how the master templates tool can be used to import and assign data to the target model. So I'm just going to open a blank project again. I'm going to use this London office once more. I just want to double check that there's no terminal templates in this model that there's no no data as well so just doing a quick check here okay you can see there's just a general terminal template signed okay so as i said i'm going to show you how to import data and assign data to a target model so i'm going to open up master templates wizard once more i'm going to navigate back to that dot tpl file that i created earlier on once i open that now i'm going to use the import and assign data options in the master template wizard so this will import all template model data of the desired types to your model and imported data will be assigned to auto matched rooms so i'm going to select that option the first thing you'll see is a matching precedence that the software uses. And I'm just going to match the rooms from the source model to the rooms in the target model using the matching precedence of room name. So I can show the master template room names. This is going to show me the room names from the source model or the master template file. So you can see I have a number of different rooms here, meeting rooms, toilets, offices, etc. Now, when I click next there, I'm going to see the matched rooms that the software has matched. So on this column on the left hand side, we see the current room name and on the column on the right hand side, we see the matched room name. So the current room name shows the room names in, in, in the target model so we see we have cellular office circulation for your and i can navigate through the current room names using different grouping schemes at the moment i just have a floors grouping scheme in the target model and i can navigate through the rooms contained in that group scheme by clicking on the different tabs here so if i just check out the ground floor i can see um, the matched room names so what the software has done now, it has matched rooms from the thermal template to which is drawn from the source model to rooms in the current model. So if I scroll through that now, I can see that for the most part, the software has managed to match the room names, but there are a couple of room names that haven't been matched and you can quickly decide what rooms you want to match manually. First, you click the checkbox. And what's happened here is that the software hasn't been able to find a room name in the master template that matches plant room. So for now, uh, I'm gonna actually leave that as lift. I wanna see, can I find any other rooms that were not matched? Notice that stairs are not matched, so I'm going to pick instead of stair, I'm going to pick a circulation and check out the fourth floor. Again, I'm going to pick a circulation room from the terminal template. 
and I'll just finish up here now and I'll do the second floor. So what's happened here is the software has automatically matched rooms from the thermal template which are drawn from the source model to rooms in the target model which is this London office and what the software will do now as we'll see is it will assign data automatically from the thermal template to the target model using this matching precedence of room names so we have seen this extra import options window before so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick construction templates and thermal condition templates and I'm just going to leave those selections of Apache profiles, constructions, macro flow opens, Apache systems, internal gains and air exchanges and then click next. This window now shows a summary of the changes that are going to be made to the target model and the difference here using this option is that the software is now going to assign data to those rooms that it matched by room name. So I click next and that's finished now I'm going to click finished so now if I check the target model I should see that the room thermal, thermal templates have been imported to the model we'll also see that the constructions have been have been brought in now we can see this external wall part out 2013 can also see roof construction has been brought in and the ground floor and the glazing constructions as well now if i click on a number of rooms and check the tabular room data for those rooms i will see now firstly that the thermal templates have been assigned correctly so for cellular office in the target model it has been matched or with the thermal office template. Similarly, open plan office have been matched with the open plan office thermal template. We can see all this data has now been assigned to the rooms. To recap, you have just seen how master templates can be used on a new project. I've shown you how to import data from a master template file into a target project or new project and I've also shown you how to automatically assign data from a master template using the room name matching precedence.